and welcome to another episode of 72 Pin Connector. Woo! With us this week, we've got Tom, Woo! Josh, <laughs> Woo! and Adam. Better be better. Woo! There oh, we go. Woo! There we go. So much better. I was channeling prepared. my inner Ric Flair. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for such a such a for- glorious intro. <laughs> Ric Flair. Oh you gotta be God. on your toes, man. Yeah, man. I'm just. I'm. I'm I, I gotta finish this coffee off. Rick yeah, Flair just was actually <laughs> in the hospital recently. Do you guys know about that? Wait, what? Yeah, Ric Flair. He yeah. had some serious medical issues. Um, oh. He's been like oh, relatively what? healthy. For all the wrestling he's done, he's never had any medical issues. And then all of a sudden, he just, just recently, like he went in for some routine procedure and started having some organ issues. Jesus. Yeah. Wow, really? Whoa, like, yeah, like did, did they give him that... a, a, new, a new organ so he can play his tunes with? Like, Damn it, you beat me to it. I was going to say, I guess he has uh, to tune it up. Uh, uh, we got it. That's, we got that's it. impressive, though. Isn't he pretty old? Yeah. He like, was even when he was wrestling, he was kind of older, wasn't he? Well, hell, he was still wrestling. I think he did a bit like five years ago. I Damn. mean, the dude. Oh, wow. I, yeah, I want to say the dude's 70. Pushing. 70. Really? Whoa. I don't Hold know. On. I'm going to have to cross check and verify this. How old are you thinking? <laughs> All right. Enhancing. One second. 68 was born years old. 19, 68. <laughs> it's close. I was pretty fucking close. That was close. Off I'll the give you that. Live here on 72 PC. Irk is good with ages. Oh. February 25th, <laughs> yeah. 1949. Yeah, there we go. Sure. Am I reading that? <sighs> Jesus. I have to stop dying. Tom, put Anyway. Dying. Please don't die. <laughs> You're not I, nearly Ric Flair's, Ric Flair's age yet. I yes. am not allowed to die. Nor do you have Ric Flair's resiliency. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, that said, who have you all been doing this week? And by who, I mean how. Who? No, who? <laughs> Let's who, discuss who have we been who doing we've this been week? doing. Uh, this have been this doing is a this brand week? new 72-pin connector where we discuss <laughs> who we've been doing each and every week. For our audiences, <laughs> Three of these answers should be very, very easy. So I've been doing my wife. <laughs> <laughs> who, who have you guys been doing? I've been doing my significant other. So hopefully, you know, Josh keeps that line and uh, yeah, any curveballs on us. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Anyway, we're good. we'll stop. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. let's talk. What we've all come here to talk about, which is food. Um, so, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to lead this with a story because apparently I've I've done this shit all over again. Um, I took, I took Renee out. This is, this is like years ago. I took Renee out to this restaurant. We had never been there before. Um, and she got broccoli with her dinner. Cause you know, broccoli, whatever. Yeah. Um, it's great. You add like a little bit of lemon butter. It's fucking delicious. Um, the broccoli was raw. Not, not like, not like raw, but like actually still frozen in the bowl. Wait, so, what? That's not raw. That's literally frozen. There's a, yeah. there's a word for it. Yeah. <laughs> So it, it wasn't it wasn't good. It wasn't a great experience. Um, so oh I called the waitress over and said, hey, this is broccoli. It's a little cold. I'm trying not to make a big deal, right? Because mm-hmm. waiting tables is fucking hard. I can't do it. I hate people. And I express my <laughs> hatred for people really, really well. I said, hey, you know, this is a, a bit cold. I was wondering if you guys could like well, microwave it or something for an extra 30 <laughs> seconds. Give it a little zap and then bring it back. And you would have thought that this woman had accidentally murdered my child or something with the way she was apologizing. Oh, I'm oh sorry, sir. This is so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let me bring over my manager. I was like, no, no, really. I just, I just want you to microwave this for a little bit. Just make it warm. I don't yeah. care about anything else. And so she brings over her my manager crib. and the manager acts like he just killed my first voice. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it is, it is well, they, so you bad. found out that they freeze their vegetables, which is actually pretty Fine. bad for a restaurant <laughs> yeah so so he starts like thoroughly apologizing they give us like half off the bill or something I'm like jesus man it's just cold broccoli renee didn't even <laughs> care that much i didn't really yeah. care that much i was just trying to get her some hot food just microwave that yeah, shit and let us yeah. eat like it wasn't even a I'm big not really deal into the whole the whole being waited on and treated like a king thing uh, I'd, just, I'd rather go into some place and the dude behind the counter is kind of a dick but they have really good food and like, all right what do you want like, like most barbecue joints what do you what the fuck do you yeah. want brisket all right get the fuck out of my face like i'll get the, your brisket like kind of <laughs> where you know they just kind of talk to you like yeah, yeah i'm not actually on the other side of this bar i'm sitting beside you kind yeah of talk so what, what yeah. the fuck do you want i'm, Give me I'm a, a real person okay. and i'm interacting with you as a real person oh this thing is screwed up oh man that sucks i'm sorry let me go fix it and i'll be back and then that's all it has to be yeah that's it and like just drop in it your beer that. before he brings you the next one because you're a dick yeah that's that's yeah. fine that's what i expect but then they they go through the whole song and dance give us half off of our bill like it was fucking ridiculous 
and the, <laughs> they bring out the new broccoli, which is still frozen. It is still oh, cold to the oh touch. God. Oh, come on, guys. At that point, I would tell yeah. them just because. That's no, I see no, I just, I just fucking dropped it. Like, I, I can't even imagine the level of apology I would get. Like, Canada <laughs> would say this, this is a little over the top. This is over. You would get <laughs> equity in the restaurant. Yeah, you'd like, still be in there right now. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Would you like a franchise? It's, oh, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> like, I, I don't, I don't wow. even imagine what could have happened. So today we go to. Uh, only the highest grade of fast food establishments, Wendy's, um, and oh, this is good. so so they they forget they forget my wife's sandwich. They didn't forget my sandwich. They forgot my wife's oh, yeah. sandwich because that's that's how this always works. If they forget my sandwich, you know I'm going to be pissed, but I'm not going to do anything about it. They forgot my wife's right. sandwich in on every bag on six different places on the receipt on the fucking cups. They say text this number to let us know how your experience was. So I just texted, you forgot my wife's sandwich. Now she's pissed. Here's the order number and the store number. And this customer service representative was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, no, no, really, it's, it's Wendy's. I honestly, I didn't expect anything different. I just wanted to let you know because you're apparently really needing this information. And she said, I've given, I've given the case over to my manager and he will give the case. case. I like the case. Yeah, the case. Like, this is a federal fucking issue. I was like, what? This is a no. missing sandwich. <laughs> we must find it. Like, I, I honestly, this is a sandwich. I honestly, like, I expected to get a text back, like, you ordered from Wendy's. Go fuck yourself. And uh, right. like, like, they're getting the fucking feds involved. You're or probably something. better off without that sandwich. Yeah, I just I, picture some I like. I really don't care. I, I expect like a year later, someone like withered old man a knock on your door is like, I found your sandwich, and he gives it to you. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it was behind the counter. I walked for years to bring yeah. you this sandwich. <laughs> you I am the district manager of, of <laughs> Wendy's, Washington State. He has a beard halfway down his upper body. He has like, like a, a big, long wooden cane. And he looks like a fucking wizard. Renee it's and I actually just fucking Gandalf. Renee and I were joking. Like we expect them to airdrop us a spicy chicken sandwich sometime <laughs> in the next day. Like track our phone's GPS and just have like mm. a drone or something carrying a sandwich. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, that's that's wow. been my fun food adventures until I made this whiskey sour, which has far too much sour. So every, yeah, uh, we've been drinking them almost every show. Yeah. And what's been happening is we go downstairs and I make the whiskey sours. Tom has uh, never, I don't even think he really ever watched me make these. So nope. I take legit like lime juice, lemon juice. So you just take a little splash of each. Tom treated it like soda. <laughs> yeah, I, I I splished and then I splooshed and then I add some some stuff and it was oh my god, lemon lime. Oh my god, it's, it's got like, damn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just add some more whiskey then and it'd be alright. Uh, like the the worst part is I would have, but I already filled it to like the rim of the glass, so I I didn't have oh. room to add anything else <laughs> unless I got a bigger glass. I'm not gonna come here with like a fucking like dinner water glass full of whiskey sour. Why? Because I'm not hardcore enough. That's yeah. why. You're not hardcore unless you live hardcore. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's the quote I'm going to go with on that one. It me, me texting Wendy's management automatically makes me not hardcore. Mm. Yeah, that, that's pretty true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, you so, uh, real so hardcore any, people would have brought it in. Any fun food stories for, for you guys on, on the other side of this video chat? <laughs> Nothing too no. crazy. I, I'm going to do yeah. sushi for the first time in a long time. I got like super sick last time I had sushi. So I, I haven't Whoa. done that in a while. That's but scary. It, yeah. It's like, it's kind of like why I don't eat KFC anymore. Same, same concept, but it didn't get mm -hmm. me as bad. Like I ended up getting sick like four times in a row at KFC. And now I don't go to any KFCs ever. Oh, yes. <laughs> so now it's like, like KFC. Nah, <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's I've like, gotten... it's, it's just kind of like a dice roll thing, you know, at that point. Mm -hmm. I've got food dice. poisoning once. Now it's because when Adam and I worked together, I would bring cold meat sandwiches in and I would put them in a cooler with an ice pack. This one time mm -hmm. I had the ice pack on the far side of the cooler and my sandwich on the other side of the cooler and mm -hmm. I ate it and I was like, mm, this is a little bit warm. And the next month, morning, my stomach was in knots mm. and oh, I did no. not eat yeah. any ham for three years after that. That's a crime. Yeah, I'm, uh, Damn, it's when delicious. It comes to, when it comes to food, I don't roll any dice. I overcook the shit out of chicken accidentally all the time because yep. I'm so afraid yep. of not cooking it enough. And The only thing I will time. roll the dice with is steak. 
Like I will, I will eat yeah. undercooked steak because that's the way you're supposed. Well, that's because to it's it. meant no, to undercooked be undercooked or medium rare. There's a Medi- difference. Like I, I usually order medium at a restaurant because it comes medium rare because they're afraid of overcooking it. Um, mm-hmm. But for my, for myself, medium, medium rare, I'm good in that zone. My grandmother eats her steaks like rare to blue. It's what they call it. Oh wow! What's yeah. blue? Rare to blue. It's basically the outside they pull it out of the freezer and they put it on a plate. Oh. Oh my that's god. blue. They sear it enough to I've, get the marks in the side. Yeah. That's yeah. Oh my god. Like like so they, they barely tap part. it on, on the grill. They're like, yeah. Or they, they go. Uh, ah, ah. All right. That's cooked <laughs> well enough. Here you go. Yeah. Josh, is that a 40 ounce chocolate <laughs> milk or something? <laughs> no, this is this is <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, This we, is we, straight. Okay, I guess I'm not explaining no, this if you want to talk uh, about it. Me and AOL Instant Messenger saw that at the same time and we're thinking the same thing. Like, is that a 40 of like <laughs> chocolate milk? That? That's a 40 of you. 40 of Where did you get this? Yeah, I need those. I would play it's Edward just, 40 hands. It's just coffee. What, 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 uh, what brand? What is it? Let's see it. Not it is, yeah, give us, give us it, the details. Yeah, no, this is my, this is just from the other room. I, I reuse glass bottles a lot. And this yeah. is one that I found okay. that I'm now reusing on the street. <laughs> After you my Edward you know, Ford hands. It had, it had, like, it had the, it's a bottle. What it was it a 40 of, Josh? It had this tea before. So yeah, I'm not, oh. maybe I should have said something yeah. horrible. Uh, but no, it's <laughs> just it King Cobra. It was, well, I did this, or and Cobra I also, Farm. I drink out of this other thing, like, um, where I don't have it in here, actually. Uh, it's a little, um, oh, apple stuff. juices. You know the Martinelli's apple juice? Yeah. Yeah, like I used to have a bunch of those, and I had them in glass little glass bottles, and I have one left, and I'm just no. I, I, I bought that tea at work one time, and somebody was like, "Is that a 40? <laughs> no, yeah. it's tea. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really good. It does look fun. super sketchy because it's really dark. All of a sudden, your yeah. coworkers yeah. are like, "What the hell are you doing on the clock? Like, I think tea, What are you gonna do? I think about I should it? get one of these. I should get one of these and just always like carry around in like a brown paper bag just with like yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, like or something like super wholesome well it could you literally <laughs> just be the tea you know and just yeah. i can just be wandering around sipping yeah. it like you could be driving down the road next to a cop <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, what the hell's that like, like, what's, it what's, it, what's it to you what's it what's it to you I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, officer. Terrible, I did it. Terrible. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry, officer. Right, I, this this actually isn't alcohol. I just put it in this brown bag to convince my homies that I'm hardcore. It's <laughs> yeah. Milk. It's, it's a long ride. It's a long way up to be extra cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, either way. Anyways, yeah. Let's get let's we, get we, on to some. There's these things called video games. What are those? I yeah. think some of us sometimes play it. And you know what? I don't care what any of you guys say. I'm throwing it to one person right now because I want to hear about this a little bit. Just your new exposure because I know you redownloaded it. Any new update on Darkwood, Adam? Any have new you, update? Like, have well, you got any further to have a this little is, bit? No, this is, the, this is the first time I've played it since it released. Um, I've been kind of pl- planning on it. But as I've mentioned before, the save, the save files don't transfer. So I basically just did the prologue again. And I think I'm on night uh, three. So I did the prologue, explored a little bit, had my first overnight thing. I died a couple times. Um, I think I've explored the main first area, and I'm just kind of trying to figure out what I need to do to progress. But um, is yeah, it, not, so not a whole lot to, a to say times, about it. Three nights in, is it actually fairly difficult then? Um, hang on, I actually took a screenshot today. Let me pull this up to see exactly what it said. But as soon as you start the game or as soon as you load a save, it's basically just like, um, this game isn't going to hold your hand. Um, <laughs> so it's their way yeah. of saying, get good, fuck you. Pretty much. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So it says, you are playing a challenging and unforgiving game. You will not be led by the hand. Respect the woods. Be patient. Focus. So oh, nice. It's definitely a old school hardcore. You're going to die and you have to survive and the supplies are scarce and all kinds of stuff like that. Ooh, that's awesome. I like it. Yeah. It, but yeah, I'm going to keep playing. It's it's really good so far. Anything else on your agenda for this last week? Just a bunch of Rocket League. Uh, I haven't played <laughs> hey, much through the week. We played play a bunch Rocket of Rocket League? League yesterday. Yeah, sometimes. Once in a while. What's Rocket League? Yeah, uh, it's just like, just like dumb little children's car soccer game. Oh, that sounds stupid. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually I was talking to someone recently um, who is not 
not a game not a, a hardcore i'm into video games like they know this is a game i like i play this game um and i was i was watching uh one of your rocket league streams one day adam and he walks up he's like those matchbox cars like well <laughs> Yeah, kind of. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's like Hot Wheels with rockets on them, and you play soccer. He's like, oh, oh, that's what Rocket League is. I thought that was something totally different. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Nice. So, what did he think it was? Um, he thought it was like a game about like rocket launch. Something so I'll have to ask like him again. Mm, like, like rocket, like, like yeah, rocket like, jump or like something. Like Unreal tournament, rocket launcher edition. Yeah, something like that. Like like rockets, man. Not yeah. like, like like not like rocket, matchbox not, cars. Not rocket man, but rockets, yeah. man. Yeah, not like matchbox cars with rockets taped to them playing soccer. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not hating. I fucking love Rocket League. Well, Adam, I'm assuming that's it for you then. Small. Yeah, it's been light. Short week. Light week. Um, you were given a choice. I was. Are you going to be invisible Ooh. or are you going to fly? Bitch, I'm going to fly. <laughs> there is no choice here. So the Splatfest gives you another choice that is just as divisive as mayo or ketchup, right? Disclaimer. Of course, everyone picks ketchup. What Tom is jumping into right now without any reference is Splatoon the splat just fest. started another <laughs> said, Splatfest today. I said, I said Splatfest. You said it, the word Splatfest, yes. So, so it's the choice is just as divisive as mayo versus ketchup, right? Do you want something that not a lot of people like? I like mayo. Spoiler alert. Um, or, or do you like ketchup better, which fucking everyone loves because it's ketchup. <laughs> you can do great things with ketchup. Like you, you can either get really normal, like it's Heinz in a bottle, or you can add yeah. in some curry powder, or you can get fucking weird and make banana yeah. ketchup, which I had the other day. Oh, wow. fucking weird. Ketchup is the, the foundation of barbecue sauce. Yeah, mayo of, is of just, acceptable barbecue sauce. It, well, yes, no, we will, hold no, on, hold on, hold we on. We will put it there. Mayo yeah. does have, we we spent, uh, our um, mother-in-law, I guess, technically, um, stepmother-in-law, I guess we'll go with that. Uh, anyway, she loves mayonnaise, right? So we actually made, like, what is it, 12 different kinds of mayonnaise for her, for one of her... Oh. Uh, for one of her mm. birth, uh, for one of her birthdays or something, and we got everything from like you're just your garlic mayo, all the way up to like maple syrup mayonnaise. That Ooh. sounds and fucking weird. Yeah. It is I'd, great. I'd try it. If sweet, you want to, it's one tangy. to one. It's a one to one ratio of maple syrup to mayonnaise. Huh. Make it and try it. Do you make like, it one to one? Seems like a lot. Yourself? It is. Yeah. It is. Is this, is this like it's, Hellman's and like? Uh, fucking Mrs. Butterworth. Butterworth. Yeah, oh, just like just like mixing <laughs> no, it. Up. That's not or maple syrup. Or, or are you are Excuse you making me. like real maple syrup and you're making the mayo yourself? No, no, no. We're not going that deep. We're just getting okay. regular. You know, so, exactly. So Hellman's and Buttersworth. <laughs> yeah, just courses. literally put Aunt them together. Jemima, and try. Okay. Excuse me, Aunt Jemima, please. <laughs> just, just if you have them in your fridge. <laughs> Mix them and come back to me and tell me it isn't interesting. Do I'm not, not going to say it's the best thing you're ever going to taste. I'm not going to pretend like it's but, but interesting. Like, Do not charge yeah, it, two it's PC good. It's for actually ruining good. one good thing and one thing you probably shouldn't have in your fridge anyway. <laughs> but yes, do, like, do there's not a whole us. range of them. Like you could apply pesto to it, and you get this pesto mayonnaise. That's just it's great. It's actually that'd, really that'd good. good. That'd be good. It's. I mean, pesto on anything's good, so you can't really get away with like you know. Yeah. <laughs> you mix it with anything, it'd be great. Um, but but like. <laughs> It's really interesting for mayonnaise. Like mayonnaise really does take on a lot of different flavors. Anyway, hmm. moving on. I say, but you know, Splatfest. The Splatfest. <laughs> yeah. Splat the choices. Fest. The choices this time around are: you can either have the power of flight or the power of invisibility. Oh come on! Right? Flight all day. Of course, flight. Flight is the only acceptable answer here. What if you have someone is trying to though? kill you with a gun? You fly the fuck away. Because a gun can't shoot something that flies. Tell all the ducks that. You just... You <laughs> <laughs> the ducks are pissed. But, so you're going to be invisible. The, the reason you can shoot ducks is because they're not flying 100% of the time. Like, if they're just always up there... You no, still you're shoot not, them. <laughs> you're not... You it's going to be them. way, way harder. Right? But the, the analog to that would be, oh, they can't shoot me because I'm invisible 100% of the time. Tell that to the wind, Irk. You hit, you hit the wind. Every time you go hunting, you do. You heard it. 
deep inside. Wait, you know the worst thing about <laughs> arguing with people that make irrational points? You have nothing to say back. <laughs> right? This is why I win every <laughs> argument. Because I'm irrational and an idiot. I don't know. I think a lot of people wouldn't choose invisibility because it makes you sound like a pervert. That is yeah, true. Kind of. I totally yeah. agree with that. Like if I'm like, oh, what would you choose? <laughs> what would yes. you choose? I choose invisibility. You fucking pervert. Okay. I choose awesome. Flight. Awesome. Get out of my face. <laughs> Not naming names. First message in chat. Invisibility would allow the viewing of tits. <laughs> okay, yeah, exactly. There we go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Called it. Platoon uh, tits. It has been enunci- or, um, pointed out. Splatoon Split tits. tits. So squid Split tits. tentacle suction cups. No, no, let's let's not dive in. Well, we're gonna, we're going yeah, down. This is this is like oh, sorry, I digress. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, Fly, the people, the people is who run Fly, the rule thirty four yeah. subreddits have have taken <laughs> yeah. this to a whole nother level already. We're not even going to approach the level of depravity that they have gotten to. I'm going to avoid this because I don't want to come in last place. Come in what? Oh, I was hoping someone would catch that. Anyway, okay. uh, so flight versus invisibility, the Splatfest. <laughs> I've played two rounds of the Splatfest. I've lost one and won one. I'm sorry, my flight brothers, I have failed you. Uh, but we actually battled an invisibility team for both of the battles. It was a goddamn miracle. So maybe hmm. this one isn't going to be such a 98 to 2% split. Yeah, it's probably going to be I could see be it better. being a little closer. Because invisibility, while you may not like it, there is a lot of good perks to it. Yeah. Like outside really of, pervy perks. Outside of that, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, like let's say you're you want to perform an amazing heist. I guess it's like all, but no, all, you like, can't perform stuff. an amazing heist, right? You're gonna walk into the bank and they're just gonna let the money float out of the bank. <laughs> yeah, no, but when yeah. you see like, all oh, the ghost passwords. money. That's weird. All the passwords, Wait, do you have to be totally systems. naked though? That's the question. That's, that's the big question. See, someone Ooh, brought this up uh, in, a, yeah. in a little like Splatoon things you can do custom drawings for uh your splatoon character and they said hey to be truly invisible you have to be naked but the thing yeah. is i mean if you're invisible does it matter what do you mean no no no. it's not about that like it does depends. that mean that like, anything it, you touch because TF- if you put everything in your pockets you know right. that stuff is invisible too like i'm totally so, like, totally can- down with that because you just get like some jinko jeans or something with like a fuck ton like huge pockets so tom will go into yeah. his closet yeah so i go back into my closet <laughs> i'm like yeah and the 90s are coming back um <laughs> and I, I totally like rob places blind because i could put them in my jinko pockets which are what would be really cool is anything you touch turns that so like if you like hold someone's hand and like jump because you don't want the world to go invisible right <laughs> oh god <laughs> Yeah, that, this, is get, this, is, <laughs> this is like getting okay. into the King Midas time problem. Out, time out, time out. We're talking Splatoon. Why the fuck are we going this deep? Hey, Splatoon you know is what? This, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> this is, play, yeah. <laughs> hey, don't get cooked. Stay off the hook. No. Yep. But, so, um, mm-hmm. you've also recently finally made the milestone. I hit makes, level 10. That makes Splatoon actually more enjoyable. Yeah, I actually I haven't played any of the other. Battles. so it doesn't matter for you because you yeah. still have not played any of the new stuff that's actually enjoyable yeah um yeah all right and <laughs> well enough of the splat fest because we know flight's gonna win um you also played another game that i've been wanting to get and i'm gonna have to ask you a lot of questions on this we will we will play yeah, this later too. please d- i've please heard interesting things about this discuss this game thumper yes so talking to a guy at work and he's he's got a switch he's like oh man mario kart's just so rad it's awesome by the way have you played thumper i can't call it what what time out i'm st- okay right now where did you buy thumper on the switch store wrong it has a vr mode that's fantastic oh really yes oh Fuck. oh no my bad i'm gonna have Mistakes to buy this again. Are made. i'm not gonna mind buying this again that's what I wanted it to know about. Insane. I know yeah. what Thumper is. I want to know how it is in VR. I no, it's no, I wanted, I wanted something to play. The Switch has no games, except there's another game that just came out. There's so, a lot of games, actually, now. I, I am burning through Switch games in a very rapid clip because I play it for at least two hours every single work day because I'm on the bus. Um, nice. So I, I bought it on the Switch for 20 bucks. Okay. Um, totally reasonable price. Totally, totally reasonable price. Um, for those of you who don't know, I was actually... Pretty heavily into music games back in the day. Uh, DDR, Amplitude, um, the guitar slash rock hero band things, all everything. I love 
He's a game. Should I have seen him. his hair today too. It was down to his ass. You know, nice long. Cool, oh, it was always <laughs> locks. <laughs> like luscious like, locks. I I had heard of U Beats before we even started playing U Beats at Arcade Legacy. Fucking love music. Nice. I really um, wish I could play that game again. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Um. So Thumper is. Uh, imagine amplitude, but instead of hitting the Guitar Hero style circles that come down. Um, there are obstacles in your way, and you have to do certain things to either bypass them or crash through them uh, without taking damage. Um, hmm. The music isn't... Uh, it is it is uh, industrial noise, um, is the best way to put it. It's not free-flowing, it's not DDR, there's not a big track list, there's a set of levels. And uh, depending on the obstacles you're interacting with, the song will change in weird, subtle ways. Um, so you will work yourself into a beat, into a rhythm, and the, the obstacles make sense. You know what's coming up because you can anticipate what the song is going to do next. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Not the best music game I've played, but the music game genre is kind of black. I've heard that, today. I've heard that Thumper is kind of unique in that it almost gets really suspenseful and yes. dark, kind of. Mm. Like, um, I don't want to say, not like... I don't want I've to say heard that it's suspense like that, but it's kind of a thriller. Yeah, yeah, I've I've heard it called a horror thriller game, so I was I was really interested in that aspect. Really, the only the only thing even remotely suspenseful about it is, I guess, the level design is is weird. You're mm -hmm. you're chasing like weird geometric shapes and like this evil face looking thing, and then it looks like at one point you're traveling through. Uh, I don't know, like the inside of an insect, because there's like all these like tentacles and legs sort of like encroaching on your position. But because the game and the gameplay is centered around, you're going forward, you're doing these things in a music game sort of way. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing even that makes me remotely weirded out. It's just like, wow, that looks kind of creepy, but that's the extent of it. And here's another question. Have you only been playing it in handheld mode? Yes. I think that might aid that as well. Because I know a lot of people that I've heard say that were playing on PSVR and Vive, where oh, it's yeah. a much mm -hmm. more immersive. And even if you really are in like, it, a dark room with computers. Is it supposed to be like when you say like almost like a horror vibe, is it supposed to be just like stressful? Or is it supposed I, no. to be like it make you feel uncomfortable? Like no, what's the. Because it doesn't seem like a horror or a, anything that would. Cla be classified as a horror game. I would say it's more game. suspenseful. Yeah, that's what yeah. I've heard is always suspense. Tense. Yeah. Tense. Like, it's... is it like stress, like like hitting the beats kind of stress, like you get from even a you know like a guitar hero, like you mentioned earlier? Is it no. is that more of what you get, or is it really some? Is there like a story behind it? Because it seems like it's just you're on a line and you're hitting you know hitting directions. Well, or a, I know there's a boss battle at. The yeah, it's from what I've seen. There's there's really no story to it. Uh, I'm not very far into the game, level three, which is barely starting out. Um, but it's there's there's nothing there's nothing spooky. I like even suspenseful is a little too strong for me because yeah, yeah you're a little bit tense, but you're also that same amount of tense. You know when you know that there's this crazy rift coming up in Guitar Hero, like that's, right. that's the amount of tense. So it, um, maybe maybe it gets that vibe. Is it just kind of just because the atmosphere is kind of dark or is the music yeah. sort of the, well i mean the music dark. is is industrial noise so it's going to have okay. hugely dark overtone right it's basically it's yeah. just a bunch of shit clanging together and it's it's rad right you get into this jam but uh it is not i i i you know butterfly ddr style it's not happy go lucky right. music at all um, mm -hmm. okay. little anime girls dancing around on the screen yeah, it with is, you it is as not they that look at all. down it's, at you. It's by far, you know, the most the most metal guitar or, or uh, metal music game I've played <laughs> in a long time uh, because it's not this happy-go-lucky dance fest. Um, it is you're like a beetle on a track and spooky shit and industrial noise. I, I guess is it really more metal than Thunder Horse? No, nothing. Else. What about so Robot Horse. Unicorn yeah. Attack? <laughs> Um, and it's, I, I would, I would even say like, um, oh shit, what's that? What's that Tim Schafer game that Double Fine did with Ozzy Osbourne? 
Oh, you're talking uh, Brutal Legend? Yes, Brutal Legend is, is possibly <laughs> yeah. the most metal game I've ever played because it's, it's a metal game. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, that's like... It's a, yeah, that, it, it is, is, is a metal <laughs> game. Yeah, it's definitely cheating. Literally it's a metal game, yeah. Like, you'd have to go like Doom or something, maybe. I think right. Doom might Doom be. Doom is... Oh, that's up there. Fuck so it. you'd have to... That th- music. That's a pretty metal game. I, I, I actually still haven't played it. I need to play mm-hmm. that game. What am I doing here? There's a... <laughs> <laughs> If Dude, anybody's VR interested in, that, in that soundtrack, I know we've talked about this a little, but there was actually another video I hadn't seen. It's like an hour long talk at GDC that Mick Gordon did about making the soundtrack of Doom. And it, it he gets pretty in depth with it. And it's really cool. He basically set up this instrument and it was like all these guitar pedals, like multiple distortion things and cool effects boxes and delays. And he had like four, four sets of signal chains that he all, you know, came together at the end and all he would do was run like a pure sine wave through all of that crap. And that's what made all those gross sounds. Really? So he would just, oh, yeah, so this, cool. this really you... simple, like sine wave sound, just sine wave is basically just, you know, it's a wave that goes up and down. There's nothing crazy about it. It's like the purest form of yes. sound there is, but then he it's runs it through all the stuff and it pushes the hardware to its limits and it's loud and it distorts in all these cool ways. And it makes all these cool sounds. And he shows like before and after, like, this is what I put into this. And he called it his doom instrument. So, so it was cool. really, it was really cool. I will, I will add this. I actually put this in our show notes. So I will remember to add this to the website. Absolutely. Look up Mick Gordon, GDC 2017. Um, it's an hour long, and the video is so fucking cool. Um, there, I I had no idea that um, like it it came out when Doom was released. That oh my god, if you look at these songs in a spectrograph, there's pentagrams and six six sixes everywhere. Like what the fuck? Yeah. Um, and I was like, <laughs> that's pretty cool. In software, that's a nice little Easter egg. I didn't realize he put that in the game. It didn't fucking tell anyone. No yeah. one knew until the game <laughs> was the launched. Developers. I love when people go through stuff and put in the spotted uh, spectrographs. I can remember yeah. any of them. And they find images yeah. and stuff. It is it is so cool. But- it's not as fun mm. when it's industrial music and it's just like really shrill sounding shit. Because yeah. it's easy to hide that. But the Doom soundtrack is good. It's really so good. good. It has some industrial tendencies, I guess, I guess you can say. But it is really yeah. good. Yeah, there was another one where he used this thing where you can basically combine two sounds together into a new sound. And one part was a guitar part, like a heavy guitar part. And he combined that with the sound of the chainsaw from the original Doom game. And that's what made wow. a lot of the sounds. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. It is really, really fucking good. Um, absolutely. Go check out that video. Put it on your watch later list. Uh, and put on some good headphones when you're listening to it. Because he's got some sound mm-hmm. samples in there that are excellent um and good headphones really help the quality of his music god it's good so i was okay i was programming yesterday and i was putting on doom metal i have never been more productive in my entire life i listened to <laughs> my first three months at amazon i did nothing but listen to that album yeah it's so you know, it also, you know, it also helps with production. sitting at your desk like that's basically typing yeah. away breaking your keyboard <laughs> Well, see, that's why I've got the mechanical keyboard, so I can just like flail on it, and it will never break. <laughs> and also, the coworkers don't know the difference because that's what it sounds like normally. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. like I will break the desk before I break the keyboard. Oh my god! <laughs> so, um, I think there um, was one other game that you guys, well, two of you guys did the Jolly Cooperation Stream. Woo! So oh, um, hey. we ended day two by becoming Sun Bros. We joined the nice. Sunlight Covenant, and now. Now our ghosts are these golden effigies of perfection and cooperation. <laughs> are you sure it's your only role? I could be so grossly incandescent. <laughs> Raise the sun. So yeah, so, we we had probably the best run we have ever had in Jolly Cooperation. Oh, absolutely! History. It was yeah, so fucking good. So good. It was nice. Like we ran, we we basically just got to the boss and then and and beat it. But we we died like obviously as one does, but like mm-hmm. we got invaded by people. There was a time when we got invaded by a bot and a by person a at the same time, yeah, and we were I, able to. Time out. Dark Souls Three has NPC invasions. Yes, that yeah, is, they all that has been that has been part oh. of it since Dark Souls. 1. I didn't know they did that. That's yep. actually kind of cool. So if you're playing yeah, the game so totally offline, or if you're playing it, you know, years after the game came out, like I did, right, um, you will still have the experience of being invaded. 
which right. fucking sucks, but you will still have that experience. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> it, it's good though, because actually beyond that, like um, in the game, if you deal with each invasion all the way through, like once you get to a certain point, that person, like for instance, what's the what's the spiky guy's name? I forgot his name. But there's one guy that invades you, and he has like spikes all over his body. In order to yep. get his gear, you have to actually kill him in all the invasions, and then you find out what he was doing by dealing with those invasions. It's actually really cool. It's a really cool story. It's like um, there's in the first one, like the Quelag, uh, the Quelag lady is like the Spider Woman, right? She's like protecting her sister, and not, then not like when, Spider Woman, like you think Spider Man, but a woman, like a literal human conjoined with a spider, really like disturbing. a spider centaur, yeah, like a yeah. spider centaur. And uh, and when you, but this guy invades you all the way up to that point, and then when you finally kill him the last time, he his body is found next to the sister, and this and the sister's like sick, and you're and you have to give her uh, souls that you get from. Uh, what is it? Is it humanity that you get? I think yep. it's humanity you get from the first one when you kill people when you invade them, um, and you have to give her those humanity that, that humanity. And so that's what he was doing. He was collecting that humanity for her. He was like some people say he was in love with her, right? And he wanted to make her better and all that stuff. So he was invading you for a purpose. So there's a really like a, like a lot of cool stories built around those invasions. So they're not just random coincidence invasions and. I'm really excited to see like how some of these, you know, play out. But yeah, basically yeah. When, when we started into this one, we started exactly, you know, obviously where we left off, but, um, you know, we kind of like, we found some like simple built in cheese for like this one little section, which actually is kind of became boring. Right. Like oh, when we were walking, yeah. when we were walking out, there's like these guys, these like big archers and they're like shooting these arrows and, like if you ran up and and aggroed people and pulled them, like it would just kill them. And it was cool the first time, like ah oh, yeah, we don't have to fight these guys. But then like it's yeah. unreasonable to not do that again. And then it just became like this. Okay, we got to wait for this. So during a couple of those, we got invaded by people and we dealt with them, and it was really cool. Yeah, I, the, I was really surprised. I I definitely will say that we are past the uh, noob cheese area. So in every right. Dark Souls game you will get these players that never level up. So they stay the same soul level so they can match with all the new players, uh, but they will go through and they will get good and find all the super high powered gear and then just camp out the newbie town and wreck shit all day long. Right. In people's days. We are finally past that point. So when people invade us, people that are roughly our level, uh, and right. roughly, nice. roughly our gear level. That's um, good. Yeah. It, except there was one guy who invaded. And uh, he he did not uh, plan on there being two people because there are never two people. So he invaded and he ran at us. And then he saw that there were two. and He's like, oh, shit. So he ran back the other direction. So Josh and I had to had to chase this guy down and beat the shit out of him. (laughs) You can just leave him him there. Just continue on. You had to chase him down. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. There there was one guy. That's pretty much. I mean, I know there's there's typically like honor with like no how you're supposed to fight those and you're supposed no. to deal with those in in dark souls like you're not supposed to gank people but since we have w- only like it's, one or two like we're trying to do this let's, let's, again I, I think i mentioned this before it's so difficult to maintain like maintain a human form through that whole thing because once you die you lose the human form and then you have to use another ember to get that back mm-hmm. so we have to we have to win these fights. There's no like, there's no two ways about it. We have to win it. And, uh, and so we, we, we go through there and if someone comes up, we have to kill them. So that's what we do. <laughs> we just destroy them and move on until we find a place to farm these things. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's, we can't, <laughs> we can't do it. We did uh, though. We, uh, we cut up, uh, a tree's balls. We did. Which is, which they, is that fun. is no longer, uh, castrate is it castrated? Yeah, is that, we, is that when we, you do we need to remove it? A, a tree, mm. I, I guess. Yeah, we castrated Which has, like, a, tree. a weird, like newborn baby arm, like coming out of the tree at one point. So, right, like, yeah, C section, I think they call it, it. Like, it was the whole thing <laughs> is just fucked. The whole game is just Sounds fucked. really strange. It I was, think they took it was weird, 
Right. They when I when I read about this one, again I read only little bits and pieces. They said that they were going to make this more of like a a closer to Bloodborne where they have like kind of like weird stuff coming out, like weird mutated freaky things as bosses. Mm-hmm. So it's working. Yeah. I, I, I think we're we're at one of the more mild bosses. <laughs> it was like when we got through it, it was good. But um you know, like it was, it was good going through it initially because we thought, like, okay, let's figure out the system, and this is the first one where we actually like figured it out, and then yep. we made it through, and we kept going, like, like we we can't hit this arm, let's move to the other arm. Oh, this one works. Why does that one work? Oh, because has a ball on that arm. Oh, great. <laughs> you know, it and was, we kind of it was good times. Yeah, we, it was great. We will, if you want to tune in on the Dark Souls talk, which I know AOL Instant Messenger desperately wants, and he is always there for every single run we do. Um, we will do that every Thursday night and we're really just playing through this game for him. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I've played. Um, I'm actually, I'm interested in, uh, Josh, you've got this game called screen sheet. This looks on your cool. List. Yes. Yeah. I've so seen this, this is actually really, really fun. I thought it was going to be kind of lame. So what screen sheet is, is, uh, you know, when you, old, when you used to play old couch co-op games and, you know, and you like double, like Goldeneye, for instance, and you're like, where the hell is all my guys? That? You look over to your brother's screen and you're like, oh, fuck, he's right there. I'm going to go get him and I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to go pre aim this corner and take him out. And you do it. He's like, oh, how'd you know I was there? It's like, you screen cheater, blah, blah, blah. This game encourages that. And the way it mm-hmm. does that is everyone's invisible. And the only way Holy to shit. actually kill anyone is by, <laughs> is by screen cheating. And it's so wow. good. It's so good. I thought it was going to be like, eh, okay, it's going to be all right. Uh-huh. But what what what's happening here is that like you have a whole array of guns and weapons from like melee weapons to like you know rocket launchers, all sorts of stuff. Um, and you have freedom to choose any one at any point as you're playing. But you just have to find where these people are, or, like you know your friends are. Uh, and it's great. There's like trampolines and weird little uh, like boosty uh, hallways that like boost you through to other areas. And every er- every area is a lot like uh, Mario Kart, like Mario Kart battle arenas, you know, mm-hmm. where they're all color coordinated. It's yeah. like, where is he? Is he over the, by the blue area? Where's the blue area? Oh, it's over there. Okay. And you like run over there and then you're like, and you have to check. You're like, oh, what corner is he at? Is that that corner? Great. And you start spraying that corner oh, and nice. then you finally kill someone and it, it gets pretty crazy because like you'll be watching one person and once you start zeroing in on that one person, if you're playing four players like we did, the you know, somebody else could be looking at you, chasing you down. And so yeah, right when you yeah. get this guy in your sight, your friend kills you. <laughs> and you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Nice. That's <laughs> awesome. It. It's so, so good. Yeah, two things. This is a really clever idea for a game. Very cool. And second, I always support any any game with local multiplayer. I think that is cool, especially nowadays. The, the best thing about this isn't the local local multiplayer. The local multiplayer is really cool and it works mm-hmm. great, and that's how we played it. But mm-hmm. there's also online multiplayer, so you play the same thing online with your friends, oh, okay. but you, you get, get to see game. all four screens. Yeah, nice. nice. So it's really cool. I, I I'm I'm excited about this because. They constantly keep keep putting out these really good couch co-op games that I want to play with, I don't know, my friend in Ohio or my friends in Washington. <laughs> you know, yeah. and I can't play with you guys. I can't play with any of them because it's a couch co-op only game. Mm-hmm. So that this is my biggest complaint about one of the best games of last year, Overcooked. There is oh, yeah. no, online, no online play with Overcooked, yeah. which is a crime. Just, yeah, well, just imagine absolutely. how toxic that would be to open. We lobby. would still, we would be playing that game regularly. I <laughs> yes, think. we yeah. would. We played that game for like play six straight hours at your house. I think. Yeah, like we that. did. It was mm-hmm. so. So, good. so we were almost we, late to the escape room thanks to over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, um, we we have uh, our board game Monday nights. Every Monday we have we have board game. We have all of our friends come over. It's like a big party now. It's just way too many people. But yeah. we have everyone over, and we all play board games and at some and sometimes we play uh console games and that or that's where um screen checkers came in uh or screen sheet came in um and we play overcooked and the first time to the third time you play overcooked it's great it's fun but after that people get really <laughs> tryhardy, and it gets extremely <laughs> toxic oh. especially with like 
there's some people that are totally getting it and there's some people that aren't quite getting it and some mm-hmm. people are just playing for fun and when you put all of them in one lobby like <laughs> it, it's a bloodbath it's so funny it's just it's the funniest thing to watch we'll get yeah, toxic it's just gotta over get good. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. it's like what are you doing? Put that on the plate. <laughs> and you're like, dude, do you know what you're playing? Dude, what, <laughs> we, what we did whenever we would play that is we would play the round once or twice, and then we would stop and all talk and say, okay, what is we our opti- what is our optimization optimization technique here? What, how do we do this? What do we break down? Who does what? Right. I, I saw I yeah. saw someone right. on Reddit was actually whiteboarding the levels and working through <laughs> it like conference room style with their teammates. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that's what we did too, and like we got really into it. But when it like when someone wants, starts fucking around or doing something that's not quite what the other person expected, mm-hmm. they, it gets really toxic. So I, I can't <laughs> wait for that to that go live, level. and then to have random online people just like telling you whose mom they had intercourse with because <laughs> they didn't make the, the burrito only right. I, play you know, I, I need to wait. see what my mom is up to, so I play online games and I try to see. Who's been boning my mom? Well, and also right. you want to know what race you are and what your sexual orientation is. That's and true. online gaming yeah. always lets you know. Yeah, it's really it's yeah, the that best therapist that, that you true. can get for free on the internet. It really, they really are a good job of breaking down, and and they also give you helpful c- critique about how you're playing and, yeah. and how best to improve. I actually yeah. I got some of the the best advice I've ever gotten while playing Dota Two, uh, which is some guy <laughs> said go uninstall. And I did, and my life has been so much better ever since. <laughs> you had so much more room on your hard drive. What a great yeah. guy thinking about you that way. It was yeah. so, like, so you know close what? of him. <laughs> uh, I love how we spun that. That was great. <laughs> so I did, and it was great. Yeah. <laughs> funny. Uh, yeah, other than that, just regular games, just my normal Rocket League, PUBG stuff. Um, not not too much, too much to report on there. It's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Eric? I know you've been playing you've been playing a bunch of games. Yeah. Um I'll go ahead and say the normal, get the checkbox out, did Rocket League, played Rocket League, love Rocket League, done. Okay. Rocket so, League. Uh last week's hey. community game was gigantic. You got into this. Disclaimer. Um tonight's game is Dirty Bomb. Free on Steam. It's a first person shooter. Um you don't like first person shooters. Metacritic has it kind of low, like in the 60s. It's like a 60. It's going to be a trash game. But I'm totally looking the, forward to this. The players give it good reviews. <laughs> it's a free-to-play. It's free-to-play because it used to be a paid game, and now it's free, I believe, something like that. Either way, get it, try it, and if it's trash, come make fun of the game with us, and we'll have a good time playing it for a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Uh, last week's game was gigantic. Um, it is a hero-based arena game. It is a MOBA. Technically, by definition, yeah. it is a MOBA. It does not play yeah. like League. It does not play like um, Dota. It's a little smitey. Um, Overwatch. That didn't feel like a MOBA. Overwatch. It doesn't comes feel like mind. a MOBA. Yeah, it's third person shooter slash melee game. I did not. It, it's expect Overwatch. To like this game as much as I. Did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I've been playing it a lot. Um, in fact, I bought. I ended up purchasing the full game. Uh, a couple other people in the community, um, Dobby and uh, Souls, have both purchased it. Um, we've been running with a few other people, uh, Vozbeck and um, New Direction. It's been a good time. Uh, really, really getting into the game. They could add a few more maps, uh, because in this one, maps change, which is a lovely feature about it. Unlike Dota mm-hmm. and that, where you get one map. And the longest game we've had has been 30 minutes. Hmm. So it's really, really, really fun. So anyone who wants to try it, 30 bucks, rotating heroes, fast pace. If you don't like it, just uninstall it. It's free. Yeah. You, uh, you got to pay nothing. Yeah. And it's a good time. I really enjoy it. Um, been playing some healers. And team composition can make a huge difference in this game, much like regular mm. MOBAs would. But having a healer, you can keep your people in the front line and not have to run back so much. Oh my God, that makes it so fun. Actually, enjoy support. Um, Everybody wants to win. Um, Nobody wants to play support. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, and so played that, been playing that. We'll keep playing that. It's a good time. Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Was Tuesday. Of the moon or mun, <laughs> however they pronounce it. Um, Man. made some good progress. Uh, got some one science point away from a big breakthrough where I can get elect, uh, solar panels 
Once I get Ooh, solar nice. panels, I can put a satellite into orbit. Ace. Ooh. Um, I struggled for about the first half hour on re-entering the atmosphere and blew up over and over and over again. One time, I made it. And I was about to have all this science, but my parachute let me fall too fast and I lost it all. Oh. And Dobby was there to clip it all. So if you go to our clips, you will see my failures in episodic fashion. Nice. Um, but yeah, so good progress if you like Kerbal and like seeing people stuck terribly at Kerbal. Not the insightful stuff, but actually, I suck. So um, <laughs> come in Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock Eastern time and watch me Kerbal and be terrible. So I tried to play Lost and Found this yes, week. You did. I, I, was, I was up on the docket. We had tweeted it. We were all ready and literally... Right, like I was rushing. I rushed through my other like nerdy security podcast. I was ready. I was about to hit the button. I set up OBS, which crashed. Which Twitch was hard oh. down for about what two hours? Oh, it, was, it was about an hour. Okay. Yeah. So so I was like, ah, well, I'm really hungry. I might as well go get dinner. So I'm out at dinner and I get this message. Oh my god, Twitch is back up. I'm like, oh, I'm like halfway through my burger. Like I'm, oh, I'm sitting no. down like at a restaurant not like i went to mcdonald's to go get some dinner like i'm out at so yeah so i picked up lost mm. and found and we played ninja guide z um oh. first thing anyone who ever wants to play this game and has any interest in streaming it um souls pointed this out to me midstream i did not realize it it gives you the capture it allows you to capture it is a 1080 game it Tops off probably three to four percent of the screen on the top and left. Yeah. So huh, people weird. were unable to see my health bar and stuff. It was really, oh, really wow. odd. Oh what? Yeah, it was huh. it was kind of dirty how it happened. Hmm. Hmm. So it was it was odd. Um that said, the game itself played okay. It was uh very fast paced, um, over the top ish. Um, I would say it's kind of Dynasty Warrior uh, Gears of War style combat. Huh. Okay. Yeah, mm. not what you would necessarily expect with the Ninja Gaiden. It's not Ninja Gaiden. It's like cell shaded. It's, um, it's interesting, but it's not what you would think normal Ninja Gaiden. Um, really? So did it have the crushing difficulty that is typical, no. typical with Ninja Gaiden? No. I mean, I died a couple times on some stuff, but it wasn't like, oh my God, this is insane. It was, okay, hmm. I, I did stupid so I, you didn't have to get good. oh okay no okay. <laughs> there are some combos and it has a really big uh tech tree uh which i thought was kind of interesting uh that said there was a few interesting things from this noted um the humor involved in this felt like it was written by the people who brought you duke nukem forever huh yeah it was terrible uh, okay terrible 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 humor um that said like I said, the gameplay was fun. Um, boss battles were interesting. However, the, the dream ended. I almost beat a boss. She beat me. I'm like, okay, I'll do it again. I go up there. I rush up there. Fight through the motherfuckers. Like, boss time. It spawns. I spam the A button to get through it. And I uh, geeked out the system, and the boss never spawned, and I was stuck there. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> and that is how Lost and Found this week ended, with a non-boss boss fight. Wow. <laughs> um, all in all, it's actually not a terrible game. If you can get it for like a buck or two, it's well worth that. But mm -hmm. ignore the dialogue is fucking rash. I mean, it is like rip someone's throat off and shit down their throat kind of stuff. The only happy thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Um, and the other weird thing I will say, you're not Ryu in this game. Oh. Oh, a you, different character. You are a ninja cyborg who was brought back to life to help fight the russians because they're actually attacking <laughs> their own citizens during a zombie apocalypse uh did you follow okay that? okay uh yeah yeah the game's kind of all over the place story-wise <clears throat> yeah well you're nice yeah so it's it's just yeah bad <laughs> do you think you'll play it again I'm torn because there's a, there's better games in that style. There's a lot better games in that style. That said, it's not a terrible mm -hmm. gameplay game in that style. It's just, mm -hmm. I mean, do God of War and stuff like that. Give me God of War over that. It's True. more tasteful. It's grittier looking. 
Um, Generally, are they working on a new God of War? Yes. yes, they are. Yes, nice. That's one of those series of games that I always thought it wasn't like, hey, this is one of my favorite games of all time. You know, I'm not going to go back and play through them, but I always thought those were really fun. They were. It was just so satisfyingly violent. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You know what I mean? It's like the quintessential hack and slash game. Yeah. Yeah. This one yeah, looks like it's a different approach, but I think oh, it really. I mean, that's what I looked at initially, but mm -hmm. now that I'm seeing more gameplay, like, I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. Doesn't so, it we'll involve him having a son or something like that? Right. And I don't know if I'm, you're, you're playing as the son or you're playing as him. Like, I don't know what's going huh. on. It looks like you're going to play as him, but like, it seems like they're, you know, you're, you're like mentoring this kid. And mm -hmm. I don't know if it's like they're doing uh, like an escort mission all the way through kind of concept or if like at some point you're going to switch and be him or what 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 the idea is there we'll we'll see it should, it'll probably be really good either way yeah it's well they're they're always good they really are even the bad ones are good well polished but that was that i don't honestly i'll never touch it again probably i'll be honest yeah fair enough well, that's what lost and found is for right yes yeah Discovering some good games, perhaps discovering some bad games, perhaps discovering some mediocre games that you kind of have fun with for a minute, and then you're like, eh. Yeah. I mean, and we got to show a brand new game on the stream that probably no one else would have been streaming at that time frame. Um, I don't think so. However, I will say this for Lost and Found, because I didn't know what this game was. And AOL's like, hey, stream Honey Bop. Like, okay, it's a terrible game. I'm going to stream it. <laughs> And I had everything ready and I'm setting up the Twitch metadata and I'm like, I'm not finding this game. And I'm like, dude, I can't set the game title. He looks it up. The game is banned on Twitch. What? Oh what no, is it? banned. I guess it's like, I don't know if it's a prostitution ring game or something oh, like that. Jesus. What? So that almost happened. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. That almost happened. It looks cartoony and happy like it's some Japanese uh, fun game. That's how they all look. That's how they all look. That's it. In. <laughs> so yeah, that almost well, happened. God. And I was thinking, I'm like, do I just not put a title? And then he says that. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> it's like yeah, there goes the stream. Be it's been it's been a good run, guys. <laughs> yeah. Like, thank you all well. for support. I just killed us. Twitch hates us. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Nice. I don't even know what that game's about or what you do. Clearly, you should stream it. Yeah, yeah, let's stream it. Ab right so now. our postcast game is going to be Honey Pot. <laughs> also, for the record, one of the other titles that was blocked, he told me the title, and I'm like, there's a game named that? Literally was such Oh, a yeah. There's there, okay, I'm not even going to say it, but there are some really explicit names for games. Like, what the fuck kind of game well, is hey, this? Well, hey, I, I like that. <laughs> you know what you're going to get. You know, Overcooked is a cooking game. Really? Yeah. So in a game called... Expletive, Sucking... expletive, expletive is probably one that you don't want to play with your parents around. Okay, let's play yeah. a game. <laughs> Describe this game by title. The title? Suck my dick. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That is what the name you of the game. game. What the hell? Oh, I don't know. What could you do in that game? That's so ambiguous. Uh, it's yeah, well right. from from the chat in the community um i think it's dota 2 i think it plays a whole lot like that oh, oh yeah, yeah oh, there okay. so oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes dota sense. it's a dota 2 skin yeah okay that makes okay. sense. okay that makes sense ah and with that i think that's all we've got for fresh game information out of us uh josh there is a little bit of rocket league news as far as 72 pc is concerned yes there yeah. is our 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 Rocket League team did pretty well in our LCS. Uh, they, they made it to week two, but now they're officially out. But they had a really great run. So we just want to let them know that we're really stoked for them, really proud of them. They're doing great. Yeah, they, yeah. they kicked some that major was, ass. They made it to the top 128, which is pretty cool. That's, that's solid. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's <laughs> really good. And also, didn't they play in uh, Nexus? A night or two. Uh, they they did. I'm not quite sure on their results on that. Um, we'll 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 get back to that for sure. Um, but, actually, I, I brought yeah. it up because I'm pretty sure they won. Did they? Mm, nice. Good for them. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Congratulations if they did. I didn't. I was talking with them about that, so I wasn't sure if they won it or if they came in third. I thought they came in third, but oh, okay. I'll come back with that note later on. <laughs> hopefully hopefully we get a uh, confirmation on that yeah so, so 
Go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just going to say, I'm like, whoops, I did something there. Wrong but place. But congratulations, you guys. Like, really, you guys have been doing great. Kicking butt out there. Keep keep, keep the, keep the on trucking. Yes, sir. <laughs> keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. <laughs> keep, keep on trucking. Keep on keeping on. Keep on, keep on trucking, keep y'all. That's how, that, that'll be yeah. our new sign. Yeah. No, yeah. no, let's keep not do that. In. No, is that yeah. not if okay? If we do that, I'm out. Uh, all right. Yeah, we're not playing. I got something I, wait, before we. All right, <laughs> we're not playing American Truck Simulator, so no worries. No, 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 no. no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, I have something real quick mm-hmm. before we get to news, and I'm going to try something too. I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to okay. do it so that our viewers can see it too. For the record, but this a, is completely out of the blue. We have no clue what's happening here. Yep. Yes, you have no <laughs> idea what's happening. So, and there's a reason. I have a backstory about this. So, so we, uh, me and a coworker, um, I was on Reddit. And I showed him this picture and, because it showed up on Reddit. It was on the front page um, just recently. And we were like, you know what? Here, let me see. I'm going to do it right now. Here it is. All right. Can you guys see that? Is that coming through? Hey, where where did you put this? I so, I am sharing it oh, on my screen. Sharing it on so, the screen. So yeah, that's yes. that's going to be impossible for people on the stream to see it. You might want to link. Okay. Link, well, then I'm going to do this. You guys, are you guys ready? Yes. Link the image in the chat so so people Here can see it. Here it is. <laughs> Boom. So this Boom. image, this yep. image uh, showed up of these oh kids God. getting absolutely amped on this game. And it brought up the question, what game is this? That so is actually this. a Sierra game. Is it? Is it? I'm pretty so sure, I, I'm pretty we, sure we, spent, no. we spent a very long time looking into this picture, this game, and we were pretty confident we know it. Do you okay. guys want to take a stab at it? So for the record, for the audio listeners out there, we need to, for the audio listeners, we need to explain what's going on here. Um, there is a picture of this kid playing a computer game back in 91 and they're all getting blasted backwards from the screen in shock and amazement. Except for one kid on the couch who is totally asleep. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> if you want to look this up, hard. it is the software catalog. <laughs> of- the- you can, you can actually <laughs> see, um, the box of this game yes, uh, you can. down there on the desk. And I, I owned this. I used to play it in black and white on my at and Safari laptop. I remember I still nice. have the goddamn floppy disk somewhere in a closet. All right, before we game. say anything, before we say what it is, Eric, do you want to take a stab at it? Do you know what it is? 91, Eric? like that. Um, Mario's typing. Okay, Adam, do you want to take a stab at it? Not. I don't have a clue. I'm completely clueless. All right, I think Tom knows. Yes. So why don't you why don't you take it, Tom? Why don't you okay. take that? So this this is not a CR game. This was actually made by the Learning Company uh, oh. for the MS DOS and Macintosh. This was part of the Ooh. Super Solver series, a series of edutainment games which were actually really good. They put out stuff for math training, like Outnumbered, which is what this game there you is. Go. Super Solvers Outnumbered. Now they also put out stuff uh, like Super Solvers Spellbound, which I had, which was actually a game that made me able to spell decently. I'm not going to even say good. Um, you would load up your your spelling list for the week in the machine, and it would have you do mini games, and it would basically craft like game style spelling lessons for you to play with. It was really cool. Um, there was Super Solvers Gizmos and Gadgets, which taught you uh, some mediocre science stuff. Super Solvers is a great, fantastic series, uh, and Outnumbered was probably my favorite game. This one reminds me, like these, those series remind me a lot of a later series that came out called Jumpstart, uh, where you would go and it, it was all separated by grade, and and you'd, you'd want to learn. It, it taught you things that you would learn in that grade. Like if you're in kindergarten, it would show you you would play a game geared towards uh, kindergarten level, you know, uh, curriculum. If you're in sixth grade, it would do that. And so it, it really reminded me a lot of those sort of games. So I just thought it was really funny. We started digging really deep. He's like, is that like Sonic? And you're like, no, that's not no. Sonic. <laughs> and you keep going deeper and deeper. And we're like, we were going back and forth. We're like, okay, well, it has to come out between 90 and 91. And we we're going through all of these. We, we found this picture with, uh, you know, with the actual, like here, you, you link the wiki, which is perfect. Um, the wiki has a picture of the box, the actual box from that picture. We finally figured it out, and it was it was a momentous occasion. 
but yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that was a fun little quiz. I thought I'd, I'd toss out there for you guys. By the way, Gizmos and Gadgets was amazing. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it really was. I I love um, all of the Super Solvers games. They were all fantastic. Um, as far as like, it's it's something you don't see a lot of today. Edutainment ga- games, uh, and that might be just because I'm outside of the edutainment age. Uh, but mm-hmm. I I really wish there was another company like uh, MECC or um, oh who uh, MECC or the Learning Company putting out games like this because they were actually really really good games. Um, especially uh, Mac put out. Uh, Museum Madness, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Old, it is an, edu- an edutainment game, and it was so much goddamn fun. Hmm, I that's think cool. cool. I, I really, I really, I played a bunch of these, like, similar to this. I never played any Math of these Blaster? company games. Yeah. I never Blaster? played any of those. Oh, wow. What I played, I played was the Jumpstart series, and there was a bunch of those. And I played, like, like, because... I got them from the library. Like a lot of the games that I got originally for PC, I actually got from the library and the jumpstart series was there. The first time I ever played Boulder's gate, I got it from the library. (laughs) Okay. It's really weird. That's they had a whole checkout section (laughs) of video games. And most of them were like learning type video games. I I played uh, jumpstart fifth grade uh, when I like, really early. And it was, and it was cool. Cause like you just play like a whole bunch of, of like, math stuff just to just to get to like this little skateboarding adventure part where mm-hmm. you just like skateboard down the down a road that had nothing to do with learning whatsoever so <laughs> so like there, it, it had a little great stuff like that like fourth grade and all those they're, they're all really good i would love to see those kind of things um be more popular because they're just they're just interesting and they're really cool maybe they are popular maybe like I once know. i have kids a little a little bit down the road you know, know maybe they'll be playing these and I'm like oh my god so, um, I think learning games have evolved yeah, in that they're yeah. not as blatantly a learning game. Right. Things like yeah, The Witness probably. can be used in a teaching environment without it being like, here's these equation coming at you. Solve it before it hits the bottom. Right. So, um, Good point. Good apparently, point. there are sites out there. Uh, Super Solvers is abandonware. So is is a what is abandoned where so it's free for anyone to pick up and use basically the copyrights oh. expired the company doesn't exist anymore rights were not acquired by anyone so I'm right now playing Super Solvers outnumbered in a browser window <laughs> totally oh, <nice>. <laughs> play Super Solvers games on your on your computer right now I'm we're gonna get here. so smart. So I what really, did you play? I, wanna, I, wanna this week. I played sixteen hours of Super Solvers. <laughs> I, I yeah, totally. Guess. We need to stream this. We need to stream my, all of the my Super times Solvers tables games. are impeccable. Yep. <laughs> Hit me with one now. Try it. Now. Just try it. <laughs> this would be a great right. stream. Just like, <laughs> just like coffeeed out of your mind. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, you wouldn't have. You have no idea. I one hundred percented Super Solvers outnumbered. Over the weekend, Holy super shit. solver speed runner. Yeah, we're gonna super speed run math weekend. blaster. That's what we need to <laughs> find all the bugs. You know, there is probably a. I'm looking bedrooms. it up. I'm looking it up. Math blaster. There's a speed, speed run. for. There's a speed run for everything. Those people are not people. That's <laughs> true. There's a, it's a completely different. Yep. Math blaster episode one in search of person. spot <laughs> speedrun.com. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, Holy shit. just they, oh my any, God. any game that can't be broke, they'll do it. Yep. And they'll speed like, run it. The witness. There was speed runs of the witness. That that is such a non speed run type game. I don't understand. Memorize yeah, the great. puzzles you need to to get to where you need to go. That sounds really Yeah, boring. people were memorizing puzzles. Some of them had stuff written down too, which I think is kind of cheating. But yeah. yeah. Well, I mean the witness well, is a great speed running know. game wrote, to speed run because Yeah, I wrote stuff down in the game while I was playing. No, 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 no. Writing stuff down in the game is fine. Writing literally the the puzzle, the um, solutions to the puzzles yeah. written down as kind of scummy. So for right. for the uh, addition um, selection on Math Blasters, the current speed run time is 11 minutes and 26 seconds for the Super Nintendo version. There you go. Wow. So now, right, now we've on, got something to aspire to. All right, speed run weekend. Let's go. Get on Dude. it, Tom. <laughs> Got it. I'll go play well, other games. <laughs> anyway, there was some other news involved as well this week. Just a little bit. 
um, some fun PUBG information. Uh, for a small point, it actually surpassed Dota on active player count. That's insane. Wow. Yeah. So, um, yeah, early access game was the most heavily played game on Steam for a period. Pretty impressive. That's crazy. Yeah, they That's deserve so it. crazy. Um, other news, um, I don't know if you guys necessarily care. I, I'm kind of excited by it because I know I watched the game or the show. Game of Thrones. Everyone knows the show. It exists at least. Um, yes. <laughs> targets their website had a leak accidental leak and by that i mean some developer put a page that he probably shouldn't have up that Oops. said bethesda oh, no. <laughs> colon game of thrones oh whoops. Game. Whoops. <laughs> so um we're talking skyrim developers making game of thrones game which was actually uh going to happen so according to did you know gaming uh, which is a great YouTube channel. You should totally check it out and a wonderful website. But according to Did You Know Gaming, they were actually approached to make a, uh, a Game of Thrones game while they were in the middle of developing Skyrim. They turned oh, it wow. down and decided to concentrate on Skyrim instead. And now we've got Skyrim Ooh. on everything from the Amiga to the Sega Genesis. And now <laughs> there's rumor that they may end up be making that Game of Thrones game. Yeah, so I would not be at oh. all surprised oh. if they said, okay... We're done porting Skyrim to TI-86 calculators. We are ready to take on Game of Thrones <laughs> well, on the Commodore 64. Until that game's too buggy, yeah. people can't play it, and then they end up porting the um, Morrowind, or sorry, Skyrim, over to the PS8. Yes, yes, that's true. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. But I don't know, like, it seems so strange. Like, like, Game of Thrones, like, when you make... All right. When you make games based off of something, it always it's sometimes it, it makes sense. Like you have Mad Max, you're like, oh, cool, I'm driving around and I'm living in this apocalyptic world. And like he was living in that world. Game of Thrones is a very set, like linear course, and there's mm -hmm. a whole bunch of people involved. Like, or, who, or the main like story, what is yes. that? But at the same time, it, a lot of it is more strategic, right? So you'd think it'd be more like a Sid Meier's Game of Thrones would make more sense than Skyrim because it's like everyone worked together in a way there's no like hero and but that's always has like one hero you know to rule them all kind of thing mm -hmm. I, I don't know it, it, I guess, guess it just doesn't sit like like to make skyrim a game of thrones game like it's game of thrones skyrim it doesn't make any sense well what could be is that you're a person whom is uh like a hero who is not part of the main story that is observing what's happening in the main story, maybe fighting through those plot elements from a different position, giving them the freedom to make the story what they want in the world of Game of Thrones while the Game of Thrones story unfolds around it. I guess so. But at the same time, I, I couldn't just, I don't know, never visit the Greybeards and hang out in a shack. Well, maybe you could. World. I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting. That's why I'm kind of, I don't know. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the fence on this one. Like, I don't know if... They could just make a totally different game just because they're a developer that makes a traditionally one style game. doesn't mean they couldn't put out something totally different. I think mm -hmm. that one style game is the only way a Game of Thrones video game would be fresh to me. Typically, I don't like licensed games because I don't like playing a game where it's like this super linear, I know everything is going to happen. Only about a GoldenEye was terrible. Games like that always feel like they're... <laughs> Games that are based off of like movies or TV shows always seems it seems kind of the same as the feeling I get when there's like a crappy spin-off show. Yes. Yeah, I mean, like I think I enjoyed uh, when I played it at the time the King Kong game that came out as the movie came out, and it was basically just the movie and you played through it and but like it was really fun and they made it fun, but you're still going through the movie, you know, like mm -hmm. so I don't know. I can go either way on it. I just like to see I. I We'll see. We'll see when something comes out, or even if it does or doesn't. It could have just been a leak that of an existing thing from when they were approached in the past, and mm -hmm. it it means nothing. We don't know yet. Yeah, I could so see that. We'll we'll have to see. It'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. um, apparently, Forbes ran a story. Yeah, Forbes. So it <laughs> Target <laughs> retracted because they're legally obligated to retract anything like that. Yeah, so yeah. The, the Forbes article title was that target listing for Bethesda Game of Thrones game was a hoax, except um, the only thing that was said by a target representative is, this is not a real product, we're sorry for any confusion. 
They never said this was a mm. hoax. They never said it was a joke. And anyway, it's fucking Forbes. So who the fuck cares? It's exactly what was initially reported by, I think it was PC game gamers or PC world that, yeah. Hey, target fucked up and put this page out and then took it back down. Yeah. Yeah. That's literally what happened. So it could be a thing. It might not be a thing. We don't actually know, but we do know that Bethesda was approached this game at one period in time. And they turned it down for Skyrim. And we do know that companies tend to get a head notice of what games are coming out and develop yep. the pages well in advance. Yeah. Yeah. So when Bethesda announces, hey, you can pre-order, uh, you know, Game of Thrones for your, I need to find a new retro console, for your PC Engine Duo, um, then you can purchase it or pre-purchase it on Target.com. And it, right. that page was ready for months before that happens. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where it's at. I just think it'd be an interesting thing. We'll see. Yes. Yep. There was a game that came out. There was. It, there was. And I, I actually had no idea this was out. I, um, <laughs> I've told myself I'm going to wait to pick it up. However, it is getting some pretty good reviews. Um, Mario Rabbit Rabbits has released. This was actually one of the games I was excited about on the Switch. Yeah. It is Mario meets XCOM. I, I actually watched weird. a lot of this. I, I ended up spending a long time watching this uh, this week and it looks really good. And I was the, I was definitely the guy that said like, nah, that's stupid. Why? What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Currently, but currently holding it an 85% on Metacritic. That's, that's really good. It looks awesome. It looks actually really cool. And, and that's coming from someone that's never played S XCOM, not really a strategy game kind of guy. It looks looks really fun. Yeah, I think it will be a great game. I will probably end up having it for my airplane flight back to Ohio during Christmas time. It's not something I'm going to get right now, especially with games like Shadow of War right there on the horizon, which I will end up getting probably on release. I've got far too many games to work through. Yet you just bought another. Uh, and I just bought the Humble Bundle. We shouldn't make our news run, but it probably should have. That you can go to humblebundle.com and get a whole shit ton of games for yeah, uh, like six dollars. That's almost <laughs> constantly though. It is, it is. But this is like the first bundle I've bought in a long time, mostly because uh, Extra Credits, another great YouTube channel, uh, put Warhammer Vermintide on their games you probably should play. Not because it's great but because it has some interesting design choices. So if you want to check that out, that's really the only reason I bought this bundle. I guess in two days, there's going to be some more games added to it. Also, if you pay $10, you can get American Truck Simulator. Okay. so, so <laughs> Hell Tom, yeah, brother. <laughs> Tom, you don't spend a whole lot of time in the stream during the week. I, I don't. That game has been a very big discussion in our stream this been. week. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes, it has. Are we, is everybody playing American Truck Simulator? There are actually a few people playing <laughs> okay. that. All right. Are what, they what being you started American by, what enough? What you started to do as a mockery is actually something that's been happening. Now, do they, do right. they have yeah. a, a trucker Every ball day, cap and much. a six-pack of Bud Light? Oh, wait, wait. I got it. <laughs> wow. I actually, I have a story for this. Oh, my God. I just, yeah. I'm going to say, Let's see I'm gonna say this story anyway because uh, my, wife's, like, my wife played a lot of Euro Truck Simulator. <laughs> she's going to be super embarrassed when I say it anyway. So yeah. she's out. She, she uh, flew out to visit her friend in Arizona this week. And so she went out with her friend to a bar and she was sitting next to this trucker guy. And this trucker guy says like, oh, I'm, I'm taking, you know, I'm hauling the stuff from X to Y. She's like, oh, I also dabbled in truck driving, but oh mostly my God. in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> oh that my god great. when i heard that, that is fucking great i just absolutely died and she explained the whole thing to the guy and he's like oh uh, they had a laugh but oh my god it was the funniest thing i've ever heard anyone say relating to a video game <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> yes so. we do we do have like a request a a request from the chat room um that josh and i discussed the uh the most wonderful piece of software we've ever played with or experienced oh the NVIDIA oh GeForce God. experience. So this is on so, me. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So this is circling back to the Dark Souls thing. And why not? Because this is a this is 72 Dark Souls connector. Um, <laughs> basically, every time we do Dark Souls, it's been a nightmare. Yep. Every time we've tried to stream it, something's gone wrong never never every, on josh's side 
Okay, only every, once. Only once on Josh's once on side. my side. Yeah, I don't know that something went wrong every single time we start the stream. Every <laughs> single time, and this one was brought to you by Tom. Yep, <laughs> the Nvidia GeForce Experience. So, um, <laughs> the Nvidia GeForce Experience program allows you to enable uh, Nvidia Shield TV streaming thing. So instead of using Steam in-home streaming, use Nvidia's program to do streaming and get the stream running on your shield TV or on other devices that support the protocol. So I was like, Oh, well, steam streaming is fucked up. I'll try Nvidia streaming. <laughs> so yeah, I went through, I set this up and, um, I was, I was getting about 20 frames per second. So that was, mm -hmm. that was shitty. I was like, yeah, okay, well, let's just use steams in home streaming, except, um, it would crash after about 10 seconds of streaming every time. I was like, oh, oh wow, my this gosh. sucks. So I, I updated my graphics drivers and did the reboot and did some troubleshooting. And it turns out that they were they were locking essentially the frame buffer on the graphics card um, to the NVIDIA GeForce experience, even if it wasn't running. So after decoupling oh. that and removing NVIDIA's piece of shit software, my Steam streaming did work. And you can't tell me, Irk. <laughs> That people don't play with Steam in home streaming because apparently now, if you have a Samsung smart TV, you can do in home streaming right to the TV. You can do a lot of stuff on those TVs, and I guarantee not many people do it, such as play trivia on Samsung smart TVs. Hey, hey, man, don't you knock my Samsung smart TV trivia habit. <laughs> but no, <laughs> man. Hey. But I was just the Samsung say, TV stuff is awesome. Issues. We use the it. streaming all the time. Really I don't. Easy. I use some of the smart TV stuff. It could be nice. Oh, man. We use the streaming all the time. Streaming's really like stream good. Yeah, streaming hmm. from our PC to like to the TV. We do that every time we have a movie on uh, on our Oh, I just do it straight from it, like Netflix and Plex straight on the TV. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what oh. I'm talking about. I don't use that. I use... There's actually one called like... Uh, what is it called? I have it right here. Uh, like Samsung Link or something like that. Yeah, I have yeah. this. Yeah, Nintendo's it's called... gonna sue them. Oh, so, oh yes, a uh, view. Yeah, Samsung Smart View. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. You just if you have a video file, you can just drag it right into uh, the Smart View and it just starts playing. It's great. Nice. Hmm. It works really good. I wonder what the security is around that. Hey, Josh, can I get a VPN yeah. line into your house? Some <laughs> yeah, let me, get, let me hit that to you. Yeah. <laughs> I've, got a Chrome, I've got a Chromecast for stuff like that. And if I want to play video games, I have a 30-foot HDMI cable that I run. To yes, <laughs> exactly. Don't stream. <laughs> Hardwire. I, I am hardwired with Ethernet. <laughs> Don't stream. It, it works fine. It works great. So, uh, yeah, fuck you, NVIDIA. Fuck you for your shitty fucking <laughs> software. Fuck you, Six Ways to Sunday, for locking my frame buffer. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, and we got a little bit of news. We'll uh, pick up the pace a little on some of these. Um, Fear is back. Dota 2, some dude named Fear is back. This is a big deal. Fear is back. Oh, my God. <laughs> End of news. <laughs> End of news. He's yes, like the best Dota player that's ever lived, or no? What? He's just a popular he's, player he's really who came good out of and retirement. He's been playing forever, and then he retired, and now oh, he's out okay. of retirement. He's the Michael Jordan of Dota. No, he's not. Oh, yes, okay. he is. At least he's the Michael Jackson of Dota. Either way, is I won't bad? touch it. Okay. Um, <laughs> Nintendo had a little bit more news. Uh, they are officially worked with Sandisk to make their own official Nintendo Switch. Uh, SD micros. So, so people are getting pissed about this because they're going to cost like 10 to 20% extra because it says Nintendo on it. And it has a Mario Kart picture mm -hmm. on it. Yeah, but they've literally yeah. been doing this since they supported SD cards. I remember the fucking Switch had Nintendo branded SD cards coming Tom, out for it. Rewind. Or I'm sorry, the fucking <laughs> Nintendo Wii had Nintendo branded uh, SD cards coming out for it, which were so mm -hmm. much more expensive than anything else with a you know the you know PNY or SanDisk or whatever generic logo you want to throw up there. But what's going to happen mm -hmm. is, mom goes to the store and she's yep. told that yep. she needs more storage. I need to get a memory thingy for my son's Nintendo. You know what's happened. All the fucking time, that exact scenario. I'm not saying it's not <laughs> shady. I'm just saying, if we're gonna complain, we need to have some at some accurate history here. This has happened for as long as video game memory cards have been around. I'm not complaining about it's it. I th it's a smart move. It really is. Brand your own mm -hmm. self a little more. Brand a little. Go mm -hmm. for it. Do you? Yeah. However, <laughs> what's weird is they waited 
what eight months to launch it six months uh, it's like yeah. anything that Nintendo does. It's just going to be really, really, really fucking late. By so the that way, also means they're only going to make five of them and people are going to charge $800 on second market? Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah. Also, in 2025, Nintendo should have voice chat for their online play. You heard it here first. <laughs> All your friends about this show. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there was also a little bit more uh, Nintendo news. Uh, they released another new game question mark uh, is it new though is it no i wouldn't call it new but it's it's, it's a very, physical game it's, it's the exact game. opposite yeah. of new <laughs> it's it's a physical well, it's game new. print yeah so capcom decided hey you know what makes us fucking shit tons of money every time we even whisper its name street fighter 2 you know what we should re-release for a classic console Street Fighter 2. So Capcom <laughs> is now making a limited run of Street Fighter 2 SNES cartridges. This is not a drill. This is not a joke. There are new Super Nintendo games coming out. Everybody panic. What? Which feels weird. <laughs> Everybody panic. The Sega Switchback console thing that they're coming out with recently that had some frame rate issues in the mm -hmm. review periods. Mm -hmm. But it has a physical port for Genesis game. You can yes. actually plug in a Genesis game. Yeah. The SNES this Classic does not... You still have to have an old school SNES for this to work. Nobody's yeah. going to buy this to play it. This is a thousand percent towards the collector's market. Absolutely. 100%. Which, or, or the I, 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 you, never, you I don't relate to that. You underestimate the hipsters. The, you 100% underestimate the they hipsters. They will go to a store and buy an OG copy of Street Fighter 2 before they buy some new. Or they'll go on, on the fucking Switch or whatever console that's already got mm -hmm. nine different ports of Street Fighter 2. Do you want HD? Do you want Alpha Remix? Do you want Super Penguin Street Fighter 2? Do you want we just put this out because we needed to pay off our student loan yeah. Street Fighter 2? Let, let, let's address yeah. this right now. Why the fuck does Camp Con Camp Com Camp Com Camp Com Camp Com Camp 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 <laughs> Do they release 20 editions of every fucking Street Fighter they make? Because they make money. I mean, Mortal yeah, Kombat that's did that once, yes. and it is possibly one of the best Mortal Kombat main games ever made. So, so they know they know that I will buy Street Fighter 4, and then I'm like, oh shit, there's like four different new characters that are like six bucks a piece in the DLC, but I could get mm -hmm. this new game that's really shiny, and the community is going to move over to that one because it's a new game. So I'm going to buy Street Fighter 4 Alpha Plus Arcade Zero, and then I'm going to buy the Street Fighter 4 Alpha Nega 3 Mega thing game with the new seven <laughs> button arcade fighting styles which which i've got to have and i need to get the branded arcade sticks i can't use my street fighter 4 arcade stick i've got to get the <laughs> alpha zero remix seven version <laughs> but if you get the alpha seven remix turbo you oh, get that yes. with the turbo <laughs> button <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a turbo. It's so, a turbo. Wow. so yeah, uh, this I think this is a collector's item or, or yeah, it's item. to celebrate the 30th anniversary. There's going to be a limited print run of 5,500 copies. The okay. thing, the best it's going thing they to come do. in a new box with a trifold design with glistening foil the, sheen, the, delicately ooh. embossed texture, and chic spot varnish. The, the best so, thing they could do wonderful. for the 30th anniversary of Street Fighter is to say, "Hey, look." We're just going to put out one goddamn version for all of our games. <laughs> I, I will say it. this, though. We're done. We're shitting on, on Street Fighter 2 is probably the best rendition of Street Fighter made. There is no yeah. probably. It is. It is the only version of Street Fighter. Oh, collectors There's are going to hate this. So they're only printing 5,500 and there's going to be two different colors. 4,550 are going to be red, and a thousand of them are going to be glow in the dark, blanca green. So Whoa. these people are going to be yelling at each other, trying to get yeah. one of each. So the fact I already got 200 of the greens pre ordered means I'm going to go in pretty good with some cash. You yeah, can't yeah. select uh, yeah. which one they're, dis they're distributed randomly. You will get a random color. <laughs> right. <laughs> can't. Well, anyway, that's, yeah, that's, so that's a problem. That's that. Um, it's not done by Nintendo, but it sounds like it's going to have Nintendo style issues. But by design, <laughs> unlike Nintendo's, we just yeah. fuck up supply and demand. Um, one more tidbit of news. Another game release. Absolver has released. Um, I have seen a little bit of this game on our buddy Dark Souls stream. So if you're interested in seeing this game, you could jump over to his stream. Uh, we ought to host him a good bit or just jump over to Dark Soul Invader and check out the stream. But this game to me, is very reminiscent of like a um, Dark Souls or martial uh, arts. 
I I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't say that necessarily. I think it's definitely got it seems to have the difficulty from what I've read. But the coolest aspect about this is uh and Dark Soul was telling me about this is there's a deck building system. Oh. So so you've got four stances and you can chain combos together of different strikes, but you have a a uh I don't know, like a spreadsheet of moves and you chain them together and you pick them and you've got this whole, what they call it, like the deck building system. And, you know, you might start off with this punch and then you hit it again and you can choose from a variety of your second hit in your combo. And then you can choose from a variety of your third hit in your combo. And each of them start and end on different stances and you can chain them together that way. So there's like Mm. a lot of in-depth stuff to do with the combat system. It seems like. That sounds pretty cool. I mean, yeah. when I was looking, I watched it for a short bit again on Dark Souls stream, and it looked really neat. It's something I would really like to try out. I'm seeing I'm seeing mixed reviews here on Steam. Hmm. And I'm seeing a uh, yeah, 69 percent of the 3,641 user reviews for this game are positive. Nah. Hmm. I, I've heard. All right. I mean, that's Metacritic. I don't know. Metacritic tagged it at a uh, a 78. So that's not bad. I've heard some stuff about it. Like I said, to, to me, from the untrained eye, um, Souls pointed out the good thing. It's like a fighter's version of Dark Soul. What it okay. looked like to me. And well, it and- looked, uh, the game itself, I will say this, when I was watching, it did not look polished. I don't know if it was just possibly stream, but it just didn't mm-hmm. look like really nice. It just looked kind of raw. So mm-hmm. this, is, um, this is great because you can just pop on Twitch and check out the game, see if you like it. Yeah. So a lot of these negative reviews, so apparently they had a lot of server issues and that might be a source of some of these negative reviews. Yeah, that that'll do it. People get the one bad thing about the review system, 1% of the game could have an issue. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people would get pissed about that and all of a sudden the game as a whole gets a huge negative blemish on it. Or some little bit of the game that didn't work right. Yeah, right. literally all of the negative reviews on this front page of the Steam store uh, mention the network online stuff. Okay. So, so I mean, while that's I don't bad, know how much of that is that, that at least is a good reason to have that kind of. Yeah, I just mm-hmm. might be worth trying out. Because I, I mean, I, I would still way. go that's and a, hesitate. Oh, sorry, Josh. Oh yeah, I said uh, it, it. It sounds like it would be worth trying out, but you might want to check it out. Again, jump on Dark Souls stream, check it out. Uh, I it sounds interesting to me, so I might actually pick it up. But yeah, this getting bad reviews for this, is, I put similar to saying Doom getting bad reviews for its multiplayer, where the game yeah. as a whole will get blemished, even though the game is badass. It's just a multiplayer, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Well, that's and that's different because Doom the Doom twenty sixteen wasn't put out as a their first game. This looks like mm-hmm. it is. I could be wrong on that, but it looks like multiplayer yeah. is the main focus of this game. Which, if yeah, that part for, sucks, for Honor then... had same, yeah, for, for Honor had the same kind of issues with online. Yep. But the key difference between this is this actually has a story mode, a single player mode, and apparently it's still very hard and it's very difficult. So hmm. it's not just something thrown in for no reason. And with that. A uh, little bit of news. I think that's pretty much all we got. Quick shout out from my side is um, tonight, once again, Dirty Bomb following the stream. I have to do a little teardown setup here. Uh, we'll hopefully have the stream up shortly after to uh, get the stream rolling, keep the community rolling right into Dirty Bomb, and uh, we can all experience this firsthand to see that this is terrible, good, or <laughs> hilariously bad. So we will all find out together. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> and um, I think, Adam, do you have a little bit of shout out real quick? Yeah, we've got some followers during the stream. Oh, shit. Um, you have made a Mark mistake. Nav- <laughs> Mark Navarro, one. Sebastian Acevedo, five. Big Daddy B. Uh, yeah. Faviog, 200. Bill Bart, 231188. And Garcia Naro. Thank you for following smash that subscribe button destroy it murder its family have no mercy on the subscribe button we would like thanks guys we really really do appreciate we do appreciate the following we 
pretty much do this to make people happy and us happy. So and make fuck tons of money, bags of money. <laughs> oh, just yes. like sacks of money. Yeah, I would all like the, to suffocate in my own wealth. All yep. the thirteen cents of revenue we've made over the last almost year. Bethesda paid us a nickel every time we said their name. Bethesda, Bethesda. But Bethesda. they really should have went. We really should have Every went time we Dark talked it about, <laughs> we're making Earth millions. Yep. Bill yeah, making millions dollars. of pennies over the course of twenty or thirty years. <laughs> Yes. So with that, the rundown. Um, if you would like to give us any input oh. on what we are saying, or what we should say, or what we should stop saying. Wait, hold yes. on, hold on, real guys, quick, real, guys. real quick. This is this is a momentous occasion, actually, and we and they pointed it out, and it's actually important. We've reached two hundred followers. Woo! We just did that Oops. just now. Two hundred and one. <laughs> Oh, 201. Oh, we're yes. 201 we're the best guys. Do I hear a 202? Anyway. Hey, you could do that. So, yes, um, 200 followers. It's awesome. Thank you, everyone, for helping us out with this so far. We hope to keep giving you good shit. And here's how you can help influence that good shit. See what I did there? Oh, I see it. Uh, I get it now. Transitional. Yeah. So, see, we're nice. professional. <laughs> you can always uh, tweet at us at at 72 PC podcast. Let us know the content you like, the content you hate, <clears throat> parcels, and uh, just let us know what's going on. That was for you, AOL. Um, we have our YouTube channel where you can see all of our podcasts we put up there, as well as some of our uh, series we've been running, like Lost and Found and Jolly Rogers Cooperation. And uh, Irks Jolly Rogers. Rogers. Jolly, Jolly Rogers. Rogers. Sorry, Jolly Cooperation. No, Jolly Rogers Cooperation. That's <laughs> yes. what that's what the stream is named now. Um, but they're all up on our YouTube, so you can go check them out um, if you ever miss them, as well as if you're on YouTube live every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on our Twitch at twitch.tv slash 72 pin connector. I thought Tom was going to say there. He what? kind of no. stepped up. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing and here. Finally, um, or RSS feeds, if you'd like to get them directly instead of actually going to a sub- podcast app like iTunes or Pocket Cast or any of those, you can go to our website at 72pinconnector.com, tie into all of our sweet RSS feeds. And also, you can email us at fanmail at 72pinconnector if you have some long winded stuff you'd like to rant about. Yeah. Tom style. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, I think that's all we have for you guys this week. So until next week, on. See everyone. Goodbye. See ya.